There are three layers to having effective web forms. Our first layer is our interface. That's done in the HTML page. Now I have down here that it uses both HTML, which could be XHTML, HTML5, any flavor of HTML, plus JavaScript. JavaScript code is written right in your HTML forms. It's in the HTML and it's considered a client-side script because it runs from the browser. And usually you'll use JavaScript just to validate that your form data is appropriate. You can't make sure that it's right, but if it's an email address, you can make sure that it follows the format of something at something.com or .net. Then in the middle layer, you have a program or script done in PHP, Perl, Java, something using CGI, and that takes the information that the user enters, and when they hit the submit button, it will take all that information and it will actually put it out on the server which is usually running a database and the database could be Oracle, it could be MySQL, it could be SQL Server. There are a lot of databases out there. To learn to do this is beyond the scope of this class so we will have courses in PHP and MySQL. We've picked those because they're free, open source, and widely used and they are a good skill for employment. But if you learn those, moving to one of the others shouldn't be that hard. It's a little bit of a different syntax, but the basic concepts are the same. In our form, we're going to just work with an email verification, which just lets you test the interface, which is as far as we're going to get. I don't recommend email verification for an actual form method, and I'll explain why when I show you how it works. But it's a good way to test your interface and make sure that the interface is working.